Well, a very good afternoon or good evening and a warm welcome to Allianz Park, the home, of course, of Saracens here in North London. Tension now is firmly focused on the ACE League final, the AASE League final. It's the Advanced Apprenticeship in Sporting Excellence to give it its full title. We're very much looking forward to it. And this year, of course, without Hartbury fe featuring, the first time that's happened in the history of the competition, now in its eighth year. And there'll be a new winner this year as we welcome into this 2016 final Gosforth Academy and Exeter College. Important. But in all of these sort of games, we touched on it a little with the, uh, with the, with the Champions Trophy final earlier, Natasha, and it's, uh, it's about managing that adrenaline level as well and making sure the focus is in the right place, not on the occasion. Yeah, definitely. I think the warm-up, they were both so intense with their communication, but it's all about being able to execute clinically now. Well, there's an early penalty shout here coming because I think the man was taken out in the air. And Joe Snow will feed back to get the clearance kick in, but we're coming back for the penalty. In fact, it was a uh, signal from the referee was holding on. So uh, we just see that restart, all that clearance. As the man goes up, he's brought to ground. Pretty clear that that must have been what the penalty was for. Eight. No. Eight, no. Don't change. It's at the back with Sam no. Daly. And they're still getting some go forward on this Exeter. That's one black. I'm also difficult to defend. Capstick joins. And they're still going. They've made a good 25 Six, no, metres out of this so far, and they're approaching the 22. It starts to break up. Will Snow decide that he wants to try and use it? And they now get the penalty advantage, which could give them a first shot at the posts if they want to. But in the meantime, it's a shot to nothing. Snow running around the corner is Jones. Good offload game from Exeter at the beginning of this one. Then Seb Rees comes round the corner. He wasn't onside. And this is bang in front of the posts. And no hesitation in calling for the opportunity for Gwyn Parks to take three points. No problem from Gwyn Parks. Fair amount of pressure, but James Kenny comes away with it. Played some rugby for England under 18s, Kenny. And the clearance kick is made, that coming down on around the 10-metre mark. Joe Snow is underneath it, has the option next to him to play the pass. Sorry, Pantages, not Snow, my apologies. And Gosford finding a bit of room here, Morgan Passman. And then Passman finds McNee, and McNee is on a foot race into the corner. McNee might score the first try, and Gosford are on the scoreboard. Brilliant work from the academy boys. That is an absolutely fantastic opportunist try. There was nothing on. They're passing backwards, such a flat line, and then just a bit of pace that comes on from Rogers. Really interested defence and just brilliant offload out of the tackle yeah. here. Draws two men. Great set of wheels down to get in the corner. Yeah, Finn Marks was giving chase, but his own stride almost bringing him down. <laughs> away now cutting back in field you can tell that Tom Marshall or oh sorry Richard Capstick really wants to try and find oh sorry, a bit of room through oh now it's a penalty to Exeter Gosford straying offside Barks Locks it, no problem. Gosforth break from the back. Charge down is good, and it might present an opportunity for Tap to go all the way here. Oh, has he managed to get there? He's had to feed it inside to Vickery. But Exeter get themselves on the score sheet, and it was by being closed down by the defensive line as Gosforth tried to get the kick away. Oh, it's an excellent conversion. Really good work from Parks, makes it three out of three. 
It's a great read by Vickery, but equally really good support line. He stayed with him the whole way, not let any of the Gosforth players get in the way to make sure that the offload's always on. Play on. Well, the ball's been overthrown and it's going to present another opportunity for Exeter. Oh, bouncing off the tackles is Sam Daly. Now they've got oh, an opportunity and more width perhaps than Gosford if they can send it. Gibbons joins the line. Now it needs a left-handed fend from Finn Marks. It's all a little bit loose. They're that close. Surely this is going to be another try for Exeter. They pick and go close quarters and straight over they go. The defence simply not strong enough and Marcus Street from that sort of range, perfectly happy to get through. Showing the sort of ability that's why he recently made his debut for the Exeter Chiefs in the Anglo-Welsh Cup. Fantastic pick up there by Snow, a really good composure. It's so easy here to just pick that ball up and try and go yourself, but they wait for the support, make sure that they've got somebody to drive him over and brilliant low finish. It's another good conversion. The gap beginning to open up now. On. Exeter looking absolutely ruthless here. The ball is loose though. And into the hands of Seb Reese, who then kicks it forward. Gibbons goes flying back. It's loose from him. Oh, it's still there for Gosforth. Now was the player held back there? <coughs> Referee happy enough with it, but it was carried over. So plenty of pressure from Seb Reese, and he's earned his side a five-meter scrum. Time went over just the course of a few minutes. Gosford have shipped Set. enough points to be holding on still in this first half. If they could get over for a try here, that would make a big, big difference. Oh, and it's a really strong finish. Goodness me. Tom Marshall had one thing in his mind, and he wasn't going to be stopped, the big man. Number eight, pick and go, first phase, and Gosford get their second try of the game. So often you see this ball held in at the back of the scrum there, so I think they weren't really expecting it. Look how slow the extra eight and seven are to get off. And the conversion from Rogers is good. 35 minute halves in this ASE League final, of course. It's a really tantalizing oh, restart. It's forced the error from Gosforth. Exeter on the ball with the advantage from the knock on. Referee will happily let them play on. Oh, they pick and go down the fringes and they're still going up to the 22. The carry that time from Swain. Snow looking to the short side. Daly. Or Capstick, sorry. Taps are going to go all, his, all the way himself. They've just tried to hold him up on the line, but the ball is there. Oh, and they get over for the score. We had a great view of that from our camera position. Right around the corner. James Kenny with the score. Absolutely sensational around the back offload there. And how he did not go into touch, I will not know. James Tapp, absolute <laughs> twinkle toes down the touchline. Staying in as well, that would have been so easy for him to be pushed into touch there, which I'm sure is what Gosworth were trying to do. Snow looking to the right. Avoids Capstick that time and goes for Pearson. Now Snow will look to the left side this time and finds Gibbons. Tap is tackled. Trying to force their way through the middle. It's a good one from Swain. Coming around the corner, Gosforth calling for numbers over on that far side. That's where they feel like the threat is, although they've got enough defence there now. If anything, they need to go the other way, which they've got the presence of mind to do. Swain, oh, is he going to take two with him? He's stopped just please. short, Dan Swain. They go again. Kenny, yes. just short, I think. Oh, no, he got there. The referee is a lot closer than we were. Try given to Exeter. And I think it's Kenny's second. Normally, this is everything you'd coach them not to do, get the ball high over the defender when you're that close to the line, but... Kenny backs himself, he backs his power and he backs his pace to get over. So he's trying to lift the ball over the defender and slot it down. It's a it's brilliant finish. It's an excellent finish. Oh, it's coming round beautifully. He's got an excellent boot, Gwyn Parks. 
Snow. Goldman on now for Exeter. Oh, Daly looking to try and do it all himself. It's good from Exeter. McNee just getting himself out of that. Joe Snow on to Street. Snow again. It's a one-man clear out. Exeter being all, given all the time in the world to get the ball away. Gosforth perhaps starting to lose interest in challenging at the breakdown. They put the tackles in, though, and it's not quite there yet. Hands up, please. Got to keep themselves onside, which they're just about doing. Rogers has got to be there. Then the try is scored. Who's going to be the man to come up with it? Dan Swain. He's had a good game for the Exeter College side. And he gets over for the second try of the second half. They knocked on the door long enough. Yeah, you're always going to run out of defenders close to that line because you have to put so many bodies to stop it. It's brilliant recycling initially from Gosworth, but just got to get your body height a little bit lower. And the great drive over, really low body height, and then he just extends his legs to get underneath them. Three of them in there to get him over the line. Will Welsh to continue the kicking duties. <laughs> Continues Black in sex sex. A similar vein to Gwyn Parks. Sorry. Opens his account, one out of one. Pantages gets the ball in. That's an enormous shove from Newcastle. This level, they're only allowed to shove it a maximum of a metre and a half, which is pretty much what they did. They took every centimetre of a metre and a half, but now it's fallen into the hands of Gibbons. It's just too loose from Gosforth. And Exeter have been handed possession eight metres from the line. They know how to punish from this sort of range as Richard Capstick takes another yard. They go again. Oh, and they are. They over that time. They are. Try given. It might be Sam Daly at the bottom. I think it is Daly who's uh, getting the plaudits from his fellow players. Yeah, I think Daly had a Lucas aid at half time or something because he's come out absolutely firing since. He's been everywhere, making really good yards every time he's carried. Again, you see Capstick carrying forward, making dents in the defensive line, and then Daly just picks up and puts his head down. James Goss takes it on. Now, surely they'll go back to the open side from Parks and Scrum Half now, which they do. Daly. So often looks at that pass but loves to take the contact the open side and then Gibbons it's opened up for him he's just got to finish it and Ollie Gibbons for all of his endeavour this afternoon is fully deserving of the score absolutely snipered at the end then as well yeah. yeah he absolutely deserves that score he's been so brilliant this second half especially he's made ground every time he's touched the ball his footwork has been absolutely sensational and he's just given his team go forward the whole time it's a great little fade to come back on the angle and go straight through untouched. Parks. It's another excellent kick. away for Gosforth and they are going to get a try this half <laughs> ball popped up Tom Marshall getting his second try of the game he's been really strong all game he's been the standout player for me for Gosforth Will Marshall and it's always difficult to stand out in a team that are are getting a bit of a hammer in, so yeah, really, really good performance from him. It was nicely intercepted by James Barker, and he fed his number eight. Yeah. 
conversion is successful. Gosforth trying to keep the ball alive and find some room. Since the replacements have come on, they've started to look a little brighter now. Whether that's to do with Exeter just taking their eye off the ball a little. Parks. Finn Marks. Parks again. Gibbons stepping inside. Six row. That one goes to ground. Parks again. Little close quarters pass. Referee got some, wants to be careful he doesn't get knocked over again. He was quite close to that one. Parks under pressure. They've played the nine here. It'll be a penalty to Exeter. And they may well take this one quickly. No. They have a little think about it. So, Natasha Hunt. You're there you uh, go. man of the match. Preempting me. <laughs> Richard Catstick, for me, he's been the standout player. He's carried when he's need to carry. He's gone forward with real intent at times, but some of his passing, some of his offloading has been absolutely sensational. Um, and for me, he's just been an, a brilliant link between the backs and forwards, and that is the reason that he's my man of the match today. Yeah, excellent contribution from the Exeter College back row. Every one of them playing their part, of course. Daly and Harry Jones as well. Yeah, Daly in particular, he's been really strong, especially in this second half. Well, he's there currently at first receiver off this line-out. So it'll be interesting to see what role he plays in this. Well, he was actually the last man to be called in. He was going to run in and receive. The referee checks the watch, and he blows the whistle for full time. The replacement streak onto the field to celebrate with their teammates. Because, of course, in the absence of Harbury College, we have a new winner of the Ace League final. And quite deservingly, with a comprehensive victory in the end, the winners of the Ace League final 2016 are Exeter College. Sam Morton, coach of Exeter College, a brilliant performance, 53-19, but it wasn't necessarily as easy as that, was it? No, not at all. Fair play to Gosforth. Um, we knew they were going to play and they just looked dangerous any time they had their hands on the ball. We just had to keep our hands on the ball as often as possible and finally we just broke them down. But fair play to them. They just looked dangerous for the whole game. You could see it with the try they scored at the end there. And even when you started to put the hammer down and pull away, it was just relentless from your guys. They just wanted to keep playing, keep increasing that score and make it safe. Well, yeah, we just tried to take a bit of their tempo out of the game, but increase ours, put the physicality into them, and then just, thankfully, they broke in the end. But, again, well played to Gossos. One of the things that was particularly impressive about the performance was at 39-11, when the game was won, there was a try-saving tackle and huge celebrations. Shows that you've got a great team spirit with the lads. Uh, we talk about it the whole time. We talk about a no-talent battle, and it doesn't matter how good you are, the ability to run back and, uh, and make a tackle like that to, to save a try is exactly what we instill in the players and credit to them, every single one of them, not only here but the other boys that have been left out of the squad today and who part of the programme, everyone's coming through, so fair play. And it was an excellent performance, a man of the match performance from Cap Stick at eight. Uh, did anyone else catch your eye today? I, I think everyone stood out really. Uh, you had Ollie Gibbon in the back line there, real sharp feet. You got Snowflake, uh, Joe Snow, sorry, at, at nine, real sniping in and around there. Then the forwards, I, I'm pretty happy with the forwards today. You look at a Marcus, uh, Marcus Street and a James Kenny. Dan Swain for us, our captain, he instills everything that we're about. So, no, really happy, really happy. Excellent. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Enjoy the celebrations and good luck. Long may it continue. Thank you. Thank you very much. Cheers. There's going to be some strong Snapchat games up there. <laughs> Six tries have got Exeter College to this position. Winning by 53 points to 19. They are the Ace League final winners for 2016. Well, Richard Capstick, firstly, congratulations. A huge smile on your face. Tell us how you're feeling. Oh, great. Great game. Tough opposition. Played well, though. The boys did, and I'm happy with the result. 
Well, I can see a couple of marks on your face there. It was a comfortable victory on the scoreline, but they gave you a great match from start to finish. Yeah, very physical game. Balls put up a good fight, carried hard, a lot of offset lows as you see, high intensity game, but I think balls came through well. Well, you say the boys there, you got the man of the match, an incredible performance from yourself, but it really looks as though you've got a great team spirit going on. Yeah, great. We started from pre-season, boys worked hard, Rob Gibson put in the hours and now looking at the results. Coaches did a good job and as you can see, we're AC champions. Well, Richard, go and join the photos and the celebration. Great performance. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for your company wherever you've been watching and enjoying this Ace League final, particularly if you've been with us for both games this afternoon from Allianz Park. But it's finished at Exeter College as the champions this year. A new name on the trophy after Hartbury College. They've beaten Gosforth by 53 points to 19. We'll see you again very soon. Good night.